hey everyone Habibi here in this video I'm going to show you how to create a touchpad to control the movement of these 2d objects on unity here we have two objects I made these two object to the objects earlier on my previous video and now I'm going to create a touchpad here on the bottom left corner of my canvas of my game to control the movement of those two objects so let's get started by creating a UI image element here is my image element I set its anchor to the bottom left corner then yeah this is our touchpad I can set its transparency down somehow like this then we need a script the script is already available here on my blog I will share with you the link and here is the script let's create a script with this name my movement touchpad I will create a script here C sharp script paste the name and then edit the script copy everything here and paste the content the, the whole code here save it and then we add this script to our touchpad image let me name it touchpad touchpad attach the touchpad script my movement touchpad here mm -hmm. let me check okay we don't have it here here we have the touchpad then we need to set the target object since we have two images here let me just try to use this first cupcake as the target I activate this touchpad by clicking it then drag and drop this first cupcake here as the target object then you need another thing here on the touchpad which is event trigger add this event trigger and we need two things here the pointer up and the pointer down event for the pointer up we need to drag and drop this touchpad to the slots for the pointer up event we need to call this function uh, deactivate deactivate touchpad and for the pointer down we call this activate touchpad seems it is done let's click the play button now let's move the let's click and move here on this touchpad as you can see here we we can move this to the object by moving our finger by here on our touchpad and we can also control the movement speed here we can increase and decrease it the movement is increased or you can decrease the movement this way 
the sensitivity all right you may ask how if we want to move both objects I mean how how if I want to move this object after clicking it and then I move this another object after I click it so right now I can only move this cupcake but what if I want to move this one so here I'm going to show you how let's edit this I'm click script that I've made on my previous video here here we need a reference for the touchpad game object here I will create a public not public 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 game object touchpad then here we type touchpad touchpad dot get component my movement touchpad dot target object equals to this dot game object that's all and if we go back to our unity and play the game you can click this object to activate its movement oh sorry I got an error here I did not add this touchpad to the script here is my okay here is okay this is the touchpad slot I need to add this touchpad game object here and also this one here now let's click the play button there is no error here I can click this object to activate it and then I can move it then I can click this one to activate it and move it this way alright but before ending this video I'm going to show you another thing which is a better way instead of using this public game object variable instead of uh, making it this way that you need to add the touchpad here you need to add the touchpad here manually instead of doing it we can just delete this game object and we need to, to edit this my movement touchpad script and we make a uh, yeah we already have public static my movement touchpad instance here so instead of uh, doing it that way we just uh, here we type my my movement touchpad dot instance dot uh, target game object only this line is sufficient for us to make it done 
and let me play the game again once more one more time as you can see here we don't need to add the touchpad manually here because we can use the instance of this touchpad let's play the game click this small cupcake and move it and now let's click this one to move it okay that's all for this tutorial i hope you are enjoying it thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye